Thank you. Now, I'm going to come here and combine a couple of questions, a lot of good questions. But, um, would you support the legalization of cannabis? If yes, in what way? Sure. Yeah, I, I would. I support uh, legalization of cannabis uh, for recreational or medicinal purposes. Um, I think there's a, there's a trend going around nationwide, and I think that's pretty obvious. And we've seen, it's not a test anymore. It's not an experiment anymore. We've seen the results uh, in other states um, that have led the way on this. Um, I think it's, it's an adult-only product, just like we talked about um, tobacco and e-cigarettes. This is an adult-only product. It's a 21 or older product. Um, I think the medical benefits are uh, speak for themselves. I mean, um, the idea that it's still categorized as a Schedule One drug, to me, is wild. A Schedule One drug means that there's no benefit whatsoever. And we've seen video. We, we've seen somebody suffering from seizures, no longer suffering from seizures. Period. The end. I mean, there, there is definitely medicinal purposes there. There's definitely a benefit to be had. Um, some folks want to talk about the revenue that we could generate from uh, marijuana. Um, for me, that's, that's true, that exists. Uh, but for me, it's really more about uh, cost savings and um, in cracking down on nonviolent drug charges and, and the, um, the rate at which we you know, convict people and lock them up, and that, that can change. Thank you, Jeremy. Most people would split this between medical and recreational use. Uh, I am not in favor of recreational use, and I'll, I'll come back to that if there's time within the, the two minutes here. Uh, as far as medical use, the legislature has done some beginning work on that uh, with the CBD oil. Uh, and some of, the, some of the issues with that come because of the fact that the federal government has laws against uh, marijuana. And regardless of our opinion whether or not the federal government has authority to pass laws in that area, they have. And if you're going to, as a state, pass laws that are going to legalize marijuana within your state, you are violating federal law. And you have to understand that's part of this. Uh, as far as medical, you know, there, I think that there is some strong evidence that this can have a positive impact. Um, for seizures, which is what CBD oil is for, um, pain control as well. And we should look into that. I would be much more comfortable if we had some FDA approval on it, um, because there's a reason that we use the FDA is for protection, that we aren't getting rogue drugs and things like that out there. Uh, but as far as uh, recreational, uh, absolutely not. I do not see positive things coming up out of this for the state of Wisconsin. Uh, we were talking about vaping before it being marketed to children. Uh, the people who are pushing for <coughs> medical, or excuse me, recreational marijuana have succeeded in making children think that this is no big deal. I, you know, some of the products out there that uh, I have seen that are marketed, essentially are marketed to children too, with bright colors and all sorts of things like that. Uh, I, I was in California recently when I moved my daughter out there last summer. And I saw billboards advertising for marijuana. Now, I didn't mean, know here. You know, you can't do a billboard for cigarettes, but you can do one for marijuana. Thank you.